What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be at SEMA in Las Vegas. I'm only gonna film nothing but Toyotas. So for all you Toyota diehards out there, this is for you. Tacomas, Tundras, Land Cruisers, you name it. Everything Toyota, I'm gonna check them all out. All the four wheel drive vehicles anyways. Let's uh, go see what we can see. Damn. Thousand tree Toyota Tacoma Cherry bra <laughs> That's nice Toyota Tacoma That was for all you Joe Koi fans <laughs> If you don't know everybody in Hawaii loves Toyota Tacomas and this is a nice one. I like the uh, barn door style swing aways It splits right down the middle instead of from one side or the other just splits right down the middle get access to your Storage in here, they're using decked slider compartments. Rhino rack, truck bed, cargo rack system. Rhino rack, wheel steps. This is all Rhino rack, by the way, because this is the Rhino rack booth at SEMA. That's nice. Gives you so much modularity on the top of your truck. Usually that's a lot of wasted space for most people, but you put a rack up there, now you can do all kinds of stuff. I like how it mounts inside there. Nice and clean. Ah, that's beautiful. Cherry 2003. <laughs> Check out this uh, Toyota Tacoma at the Laverne booth at SEMA. That's interesting. So you leave your stock bumper on and then you put this oversized bull bar on there. That's something cool. I've never seen that before. And of course that allows you to put light bars on there. You get some protection as well. Not as beefy as replacing your bumper, but still, if you're gonna get a bull bar, that's actually um, the best bull bar I've ever seen. <laughs> and if you're not paying attention, you think it's a regular uh, bumper. And then you have your uh, Side steps, those are not really rock sliders, those are just steps to step on. Got a little lightweight basket up top. This is nice. Aries headache rack. So any gear in the back that flies forward when you hit the brakes is not gonna break your window or fly through and kill you. You got some uh toolboxes on the side. There you go. That's nice, man. <laughs> and then you got a, a hitch with the cargo rack in the back. Interesting. Here's a beautiful Toyota 4Runner. This is the, the Dometic 4Runner. I've seen this one before, but this time they're running a, looks like a go fast camper up top, rooftop tent. If you don't know about those guys, uh, they make really gorgeous looking rooftop tents. Look at that engineering on that hinge. And they got these rails. You can put things pretty much anywhere. Real simple, low profile, and tough as hell from what I hear. Go fast. I mean, they're designed to be put on vehicles and you go fast with them and they, they survive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a beautiful 4Runner. All blacked out. VTX wheels. Got an awning here. Oh, look at that. They got a specialized, I believe that's the Levo, mid-drive system. I really want one of these, man. That's badass. It's basically like having a motorcycle. So if you want to go up hills without getting a heart attack that's the way to go and of course they got their Dometic freezer in there a CFX freezer yeah this is cool look at that it's got the uh, dual zones you can put freezer on one side and the regular cooler on the other 
check out my other videos on Dometic uh, if you want to watch the full detailed video on these guys. Burnt orange Tacoma with a roof top tent and a truck bed slider. That's cool. ATC Truck Covers, I guess, is the company that makes these. That's nice. That must come in handy when you got that thing loaded down with like 300 pounds of gear. You can pull it all out and get to it. And then you can close it up, button it up with your truck camper and keep the dust out of all your gear. That's what I like about the truck setup versus uh, open truck beds. There's another Tacoma with a Sasquatch in the uh, painting there. Forest green color. Smitty built rooftop tent on the back. Here's something I've never seen before. I wonder if this is theirs. I'm assuming this is theirs. It's like a cargo truck bed rack system, obviously to put a tent on it, but theirs has built in lock, like lock boxes. That's cool. Instead of having uh, plastic boxes like you see with lighteners, these are steel and they're lockable. And you still have room inside here to store gear. That's nice. Different, something different. By the way, this is a cool Lexus. Look at this thing. I see a lot more Lexus out on the road now because uh, they, they make good off-road vehicles. I mean, believe it or not, I know it's a high-end vehicle, but they make rock solid off-road vehicles, man. Toyota, it's basically a Toyota. And uh, it's nice to see uh, is set up out here in the overland section now this is the, the thing that's nice about this rack is you can carry a buttload of bikes plus if you need quick access to the back of your suv you could slide it out oh and it locks too that's cool check out this tacoma so they got a nice tacoma right here it's got a lot going on but let's go straight to the good stuff so right here in the back they have their truck cap and it's been kitted out with all kinds of cool stuff like they got foam inserts that are perfectly cut out for everything organized you got a tray here you can put to uh, work on or prep food look at these trays in the back got cargo trays here on sliders lockable and then look at this this tray it's got a sink with pressurized water hot and cold this one's got a Dometic stove tucked away inside here. And then, of course, you can put anything you want on top of this stuff back here. But that's just cool that you could kick this thing out any way you want. Bare bones for work or for overlanding. Check them out. RLD Designs USA.com out of South Africa. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a go-kart tucked away in the back there. So let's let's talk about this Land Cruiser here. So he's got aftermarket bumper, which is kind of nice, simple, clean. He's got a cool um, ladder going up to the top. Unfortunately, this one has a rooftop tent, so you really can't access anything with this ladder, but it still looks cool. It's bolted on there too. High left jack, spare tire, fuel. I like these uh, slider windows uh, on on these old Land Cruisers, man. That's cool. My sister-in-law and my brother-in-law both had this exact model in Hawaii. Uh, I think one of them still has them. Huge tin up top. Fuel wheels, Hawking tires. Got a tube bumper, nothing crazy over the top. He doesn't even have a winch on this one. It's just a simple tube bumper. And here's the thing about uh, these Land Cruisers, this series Land Cruisers, they have uh, solid axles. So this is the model just before they switched over to independent suspension. But, uh, yeah, nice, got a snorkel, an awning, really nice. And then of course, the Taxa adventure trailer on the back. Looks like iCamper from South Korea has finally made it to SEMA. Good for them. Oh, I've seen this vehicle. Yeah, it's the Car Tundra. Uh, I seen him, his vehicle at uh, Overnight Expo. It's a Land Cruiser Troopy. I believe it's a Troopy. And uh, he's rocking the uh, iCamper. Camper. Uh, and if you don't know about these guys, they make humongous tents. I mean, they're huge. Probably the biggest in the industry. It's a hard shell, like clam style. 
opens up and then this bottom piece folds out to make it to where you can have basically three or four people sleep up there. Let's see if I can take a look. Can I climb on this? There you go. That's a nice touch with the uh, world map on the wall there. It's quilted, so it looks like it's uh, uh, somewhat insulated. Oh, there's a, a roof access too, so you can open it up, stick your head out the roof. And I've said this before in other videos, it's, that's cool because if you're using this at a race or a concert, you could just use it as an elevated platform and look out the top and look over the crowd. That's nice. By the way, this Troopery is awesome. Look at this ARB front bumper. It's huge. Humongous. I like the OD green. Ginormous rack. Gutter style too. <laughs> Old school. But that rack is monstrous. If you don't know Dakar Tundra, check him out. He's on Instagram, at Dakar Tundra. He's got a, a couple vehicles. I, I found him uh, from his, obviously from his Tundra his, uh, Instagram pictures. Oh, look at that. There's that, uh, that crazy shovel. And there's another shovel there. I don't even know who makes that one. That's who makes these. No, this is Expedition 1. Ah. Expedition one fuel packs and water back here. Full size spare on a big ass carrier. Who makes this one here? So that spare tire carrier is by a company called cruiseroutfitters.com. That's nice, man. What about Tacoma guys? Look at this. Here is a beautiful Toyota Tacoma. That's nice. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And these rocking two eye campers on top. This is the smaller one. Super comfortable for one guy. Could probably fit two if you had to. And then there's a big one right there on the back. Low profile setup. Let's go over here and see if we can get a shot of that. I'll go right over here. There we go. Let's see. That's nice. I like that low profile setup. Oh, look at this tire. Your videos are great, man. Hey, thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this last line of defense truck? It's from Colorado and it almost looks like it. And I know he runs an eye camper. Maybe, maybe not. You would think it would have his name on here somewhere, so probably not. Cool though. See that hard shell? That's what I was talking about. It's got the hard shell. Setup time, one minute. <laughs> That's cool. Here's a beautiful older Land Cruiser. And there's a lot of work in this thing. It doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks almost stock really, but there's actually a lot of work going on in this thing. I like the paint job, by the way. It's got like that brown or sand color. Manual locking hubs, Maxxis tires, it's really nice, clean, it looks like a ARB bumper I believe, LED, rigid LED lights, Warren winch, check out this link, I've never seen a link like this before, this must be a new link from Warren, Sidewinder link, I've never seen one like that before, interesting, I like the little rigid LEDs, so under the hood is where all the magic is on this uh, Land Cruiser though. So they took out the old original uh, Land Cruiser engine, Toyota engine, and swapped in some type of Chevy V8. Just a naturally aspirated Chevy V8. Reliable, tried and true, nothing fancy. You got a cold air intake. I guess you call that cold air. I don't even know if that's really considered cold air, but it's definitely protected. The uh, intake filter is completely protected. That's interesting. I've never seen a setup like that before. By the way, this is by Profit Resurrection Land Cruisers. And they specialize in, in uh, rebuilding and making Land Cruisers look badass. Let's see an ARB compressor in there. 
everything on this thing has been um, resurrected, so to speak. That's their uh, motto. But this is nice. Look at this rooftop tent here. They got a easy on roof rack. And then there's a really overbuilt, tough ass looking rooftop tent by a company called Camp King Industries. That's nice. It's got that TP style, just pop up, high uh, roof kind of setup. But it goes one step further with this pop out here. It's like almost like a little mini awning. That's nice. And you got a traditional awning over here. This is cool. Look at this. Custom bumper in the back with this cool ladder rack system so you can get up in your tent or get up on top of your roof and if you didn't have a tent. Here's that ARB, uh, it's like a new age jack, high lift jack. I've been seeing that around now quite a bit. Roto packs for fuel, full size spare. This is cool, look at this, truck vault in the back. That's nice. Lock up all your stuff. That's nice because you can put all your stuff in here and then lock it. You don't have to worry about someone breaking in for the most part. I mean, you can still break in, but it would take some work. I like these old Land Cruiser uh, truck bed kind of flip down tailgate setups. That's nice. It's got some LED lights in there too. This is really clean. I like the 80s brown interior. <laughs> they, they kept it old school. Look at that. Even the original uh, steering wheel. So cool. Love it. Here's one for you uh, Forerunner guys. A beautiful example of a Forerunner. Look at those shackles. My worn. That's awesome. Called the Hyperlink. They uh, kind of kept the front bumper. This is like a hybrid. You got some of the original factory bumper, but then they put like this bull bar with armor protection that goes up the sides here. So it's like they took some away, but but kept a lot of the original. That's cool. These wheels are nice, man. Bad van, RG2D. I like them. Icon suspension, of course, Baja lights. Carbon fiber hood by Sabon. That's a pricey piece, but you probably save a big chunk of weight. A big metal replaced with carbon fiber. Safari snorkel. Gobi rack. Ooh, who makes this? RS. What is that? RS6? Or G? I don't know who that is. Nice rear bumper. I like how it comes all the way to the tires. Ooh, there's that new ARB, uh, basically like a new age high lift jack, full size spare on a swing away, double jerry cans, little ladder going to the roof, cargo boxes up there, ARB awning. That is beautiful. You know, I, I know I don't want to buy one of these because uh, I already have a plan on how I want to set my vehicle up when I get one. But damn, that is beautiful. It makes me want to buy one of these, even though I know I don't want to go this route because <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I'm a big fan of these guys, the uh, Forerunners. Check out this old Land Cruiser. This one's almost bone stock. That is nice, man. Body on frame design, leaf spring suspension, solid axles. They look like the stock axles, nothing uh, fancy there. Look like it even has uh, stock wheels, stamped steel wheels with hubcaps. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming underneath those hubcaps is the uh, locker, you can lock them out. ARB front bumper. Oh, look at that old school winch. 
with the cable. Ooh, better watch out. That thing snaps, it'll cut your head off. Look at this. So apparently this thing, you could take off this fiberglass cap, take it off like a Jeep, and then fold this windshield down. Look, I see hinges here. Who would have thought that Toyotas used to fold windshields down just like Jeeps back in the day? Oh, look at that, it's right-hand drive, so this is from another country, maybe Australia, maybe? It's hard to say. The old shit grab bar right there. Here's your rooftop tent that just claps onto the gutter rails. Front runner rack. He's got a auto home, what is that, Magiolina Extreme rooftop tent. This is a uh, European, really expensive stuff. I've seen these guys before. But it's cool because it's super simple. Just pop it straight up. You don't have to worry about flopping it one way or another. Just, it goes straight up. Old school jerry cans in the back. I don't think that's going to stop anybody from stealing them. Oh, the cable will, but not the uh, tie down straps. That's just to keep them flopping around. Swing away style. Barn doors. Gotta love the barn doors. I don't know the model of this one. I'm not a, you know, I don't know everything about these things, but it says ZX on there. So uh, if you're a Land Cruiser expert, let me know what model this is. I like those slider windows. I wish they would make slider windows on newer models. They just don't do that anymore. Front runner, cargo boxes. There's an old school cooler. I don't think this is electric. It's just a cooler. <laughs> it might be electric. Maybe it is. I see some kind of contraption over there. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's got a roll cage though. They took out the seats in the back. It's nice. Look at this old Toyota pickup. It's actually left-hand drive. But we never got this in the U.S. as far as I know. I'm not sure what the deal is with this. I don't know, is this an old truck or is it a new truck? that's uh, been revitalized for special edition uh, in other countries. I don't know. All I know is it was never sold here in the U.S. Because I've never seen this. This looks like something from overseas for sure. Look at those solid axles. Stock. Yeah, those are stock axles. Land Cruiser. Got Cyclone pre filter. I wonder which country this came from. Tell me in the comments below which country this came from because it's actually left hand drive. I like that full size spare on the headache rack. Keeps it out of the truck bed so you can still use this as a truck bed. But it also protects your head in case stuff flies back here and might come into the cab and hurt you. Leaf spring suspension, old school, but he's upgraded the shocks. This says MRR. Nice big bed. It's actually a really big bed. I don't know how many feet that is. Maybe six and a half, seven feet. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Doesn't even have a rear bumper for the most part. I mean, it has a little bumper, but anything hits that and it's basically going to get destroyed. Usually you'd see a big, humongous steel bumper back here. Pretty much nothing on it. That's nice. Here's a Land Cruiser. I think I saw this before, but it's always cool to see it again. It's got that James Beroud tent, and it's kind of different than all the other tents because it has a little porthole. A little porthole you can climb right through here and get into your tent. So you never have to get exposed to the uh, elements. You come out of your little, your little cocoon and come underneath your uh, awning here. And uh, that tent is huge, by the way. I think that's the biggest one they make. Uh, that's nice. Hard shell. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, he's got some something else going on here. Swing away carrier. Got a Dometic in the back. Look at all these cabinets. 
That's nice. He's got the slider. That's nice. And then here's an old school Toyota Land Cruiser. These things are so crazy. I remember back in the day when these were pretty much, and you can get them anywhere. Mm -hmm. Now they're like hard nice. to find, man. And then if you do get them, they're all either ratty. Yeah, they're all beat up, but people are rebuilding them now and yeah. selling them for tons of money. Well, there's uh, there's a dude right there, two blocks from my shop. He restores these Land Cruisers, and yeah. the majority of them are coming from Australia. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the biggest market for Land Cruisers. Yeah. yeah. Is it Tacoma? Check out this Tacoma. What? Mall crawler Tacoma. That's cool. I like it. Look at those wheels. TIS forged wheels are those are huge. I bet you those are like 30s. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Oh, they're 40s on what is that? 26 inch wheel. Woo! 26 inch. <laughs> but they're still 40s though. You still get the 40 inch wheels but not a lot of sidewall that's crazy look at this they got some nice vehicles here look at this it's like a it's like a bat wing toyotas oh yeah this is nice man this is the deck to area. Both of these are deck sponsored vehicles. Yeah, Tapui Tents, that's their new hardtop. Yeah. Uh, they, they didn't used to do hardtops before. They used to just do these right here. Yeah. I like the swing away. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Everything is organized. That's what I like. Everything is there if you need it. And if you could want to pack it up and move to a new campsite, you could just go. The other nice thing is these things are so strong, you can actually park like a dirt bike on top of it, a quad on top of it. Yeah, that's of right. It, and it's not like you could, you could still it. use it. Yeah. Look at this. I like this. This must be a CBI. Yeah. So when you're off road, the rocks come up, bam, they hit your vehicle. You don't have to worry about the tail end of your vehicle. But this one's the biggest, beefiest version I've seen in a while. I mean, it's got bars on the bumper itself, too. Because usually there's just a bumper right here. But this goes all the way back to the fender. It's just pretty badass. I think this is I think this is CBI. Yeah, it's I think where's you see CBI anywhere on here? CBI means I can't break it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see. Maybe the bumper will show. No, maybe not. I don't know who makes that. It's nice though. There's so many brands on this, I can't even see what's right. what. Yeah, this is beautiful. That's how you do a Tacoma right there. This Forerunner caught my eye at SEMA because it's got a badass adventure trailer. And I've seen a lot of these adventure trailers. Some of them are way over the top and some of them are super simple. This falls in the category of being really simple. It's a cargo trailer so you can carry your dirt bikes. You can go play out in the wilderness, all your camping gear and stuff like that. But this one's kind of cool because you, it has like this extendable platform that goes up into a rooftop basically where you can bolt on a uh, rooftop tent it's a James Rude pop-up tent for the hard shell on top that's cool so it basically does two things you can use it as a camper and a cargo trailer see a lot of these trailers you can't do two things usually it's a camper and that's it you just put all your camping gear and then you sleep in it and that's it if you want to carry a motorcycle you're kind of screwed you don't you can't do that but this one you can do both carry your dirt bikes ATVs whatever and sleep on top I like that that is really cool and then they still haven't forgotten about the camping part you have hot pressurized water you got a cooktop surface here for your uh, propane burner whatever you still have storage for whatever your camping gear of course you still have your tow vehicles so all this you can carry a bunch of stuff in there too but this is just really cool man that you can carry ATVs and dirt bikes in your off-road trailer and sleep on top of it too two for one on this one i like it let's look at the uh forerunner as well that's really nice it's tough to keep black vehicles clean but when they are clean they look sexy man he's got a rhino rack on top to bolt a bunch of gear onto mad tracks this one's simple he's got the stock bumpers he didn't really go too crazy suspension doesn't look too overdone it's just an upgraded suspension but not lifted too much if it even has a lift i don't even think it has a lift Icon wheels, Icon shocks, Vision X lights. 
He's got a shovel up there. Yeah, he didn't even change the bumper. All he did was add this um, cool protective bull bar kind of deal here. Because normally that's just plastic right there. So this allows you to get some protection plus put a winch on there. That's cool. Factor 55 link. It's got a skid plate under there too. I see uh, ASFIR. Not familiar with those guys. That's nice. Simple. Simple, simple. Regular guys can do this build right here. Again, that, that trailer is just cool, man. Oh, look at that. He's got a shower on here too. So he's probably got battery box in there. You can plug in uh, plug in your power cords, propane, pressurized water for taking a shower when you're done riding out in the, in the backwoods. You can come back and take a hot shower. And then you can go to sleep in a nice little comfortable elevated position away from the critters, or away from the uh, mountain lions and bears. That's nice. I really, really like this setup, guys. It's kind of strange. I'm at SEMA, surrounded by million dollar vehicles, and I'm infatuated by a simple cargo trailer <laughs> with the tent on top but yeah that's cool i like it